Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! I understand that you are currently in the fight of your life against the fifth strongest warrior in the entire multiverse. I'm afraid I can also feel danger that seems to be coming from your planet back on Earth. It would appear as though you weren't the only one who had been preparing themselves for battle, I'm afraid. And even though you are to remain here until this entire tournament is officially over, I do sure hope that those who are fighting on Earth can hold out until more help can arrive. As our story continues, back on Earth with Cooler now being shown having to seemingly enough be impressed by Beast Gohan's power, as it now also looks as though Cooler is getting himself ready and revealing more of his own power to both Piccolo and Gohan, it was only upon Cooler now being shown having to do so where Cooler went on to respond, and so I see that dealing with you as you are isn't going to be easy, and now as a reward for forcing my hand, allow me to gradually begin to show you the difference between our power and how doomed the two of you you really are. Now watch closely, in which the second cooler had now gone as far as to transform, that was when Orange Piccolo went on to chime in by responding, Oh, what incredible power! It doesn't surprise me to know that this guy would also have a transformation just like his brother, but the power emanating from him is far above what I expected for him to be capable of. Well, whatever it is that we're in for, Beast Gohan chimes in, we've got to make sure that whatever happens with Frieza's brother, we can't lose sight of Frieza while we deal with his brother first, as Orange Piccolo went on to respond, Oh, whatever happens, don't hold anything back. Got it? Oh, and please tell me that you've kept up with your training since fighting those Gammas and Cell Max, or were you simply too busy studying your so-called Super Saiyan ants instead? No, I did what I could during my spare time, Gohan responds. I mean, I didn't do what my dad and Vegeta did, but I made sure not to lack off as much, so I guess I'll be okay. To where, lo and behold, the moment Cooler was now shown having to finally complete his transformation, it was just upon Cooler now being shown entering his final form where Cooler went on to address both Piccolo and Gohan by telling them, I guess training with my brother certainly had its benefits and so behold, little worms, what you are seeing now is my final form in its natural stage prior to any evolution that I may have added after this. And I can assure you that it'll be the last thing that you both will ever see before you die. But before we kick the fireworks off, Cooler continues. Continues. I want to make sure that there is nothing that will get in our way as we fight, Saiyan. You will be the first of my victims since you're much stronger than the pathetic Namekian, as then they went along to then ask Frieza, Wait a second, you trained him? But since when do you have the time to get your brother to become this strong? Oh, who said anything about only training Cooler to become stronger, Frieza asks. I too have grown more powerful through helping him, and so he isn't the only one to reach new levels of power. To which, as Final Form Cooler was now shown singling out Beast Gohan, it was only upon him having to now do so where Cooler went on to continue, and to make sure that there is nothing and no one to stand in the way of the beating that you have coming courtesy of being Son Goku's offspring, let us eliminate the lowest common denominator among us to ensure that we have a proper fight then, shall we? As before you know it, before anyone there could even register as to what Cooler had done, Cooler had now quickly taken initiative in 
targeting Orange Piccolo by being shown punching Piccolo in the face and telling him, It was fun while it lasted, Piccolo, but what do you say you leave us be so that the Saiyan may die without you getting in the way to try and save him, Cooler shouts. To where even with Orange Piccolo's body now shown flying out into the distance, that was when then they went on to shout, Piccolo, no! What's his problem, Frieza? Oh, hang on, Piccolo, I'm coming, Beast Gohan shouts. But then, it was before Gohan could even react and going as far as to save Piccolo, where Cooler went on to then ask, and just where do you think you're running off to so quickly? To where, fortunately enough, with Gohan shown having to block off Cooler's strike, that was when Cooler went on to continue. Oh, you're pretty fast there, as I figured you would be. This form of yours is new, I assume, isn't it? Yes, interesting. Tell me, where exactly is your father and Vegeta hiding, Cooler questions? If anyone would know, it would be you, and so where are they? I promise we will leave if you tell us their location, Gohan. Like hell I would tell you, even if I knew where they were, Gohan responds. But if this is the kind of game that you want to try and play, then go ahead then and play, because you'd be crazy if you think I'd tell you or your brother anything. The two of you will already be long dead by the time my dad and Vegeta get here to find out what happened, so you can forget it. But then, it now appeared as though Cooler was not having any of Gohan's antics as Cooler went on to knee Gohan in the stomach by then telling him, Oh, that's rich. I doubt that. Well, interesting as it may be, little green Frieza responds. It's better if you tell me what I want to know while your buddies still have heads on their shoulders, Frieza continues. We didn't come here to pick the meat off the bones from weaklings. We came here for the main dish. Now go ahead then and show me what the son of the legendary Super Saiyan is made of, Cooler went on to tell Gohan. To where fortunately enough for Gohan, as he was quickly from there shown having to disappear right before Cooler had made his move, Gohan had from there immediately a block by welcoming Cooler's offer and from there being shown having to now attack him as Frieza went on to chime in. Oh, very impressive. So, Goku's son doesn't appear as though he's lost his touch during these times where you found peace. Though, I do want you to know that we've kept a very close eye on things that happened here. So seeing him achieve a new transformation such as the one he's using is, dare I say, a good thing. And of course, do you want to know why that is, Guardian? Well, because this now gives me and my brother the opportunity to make an example of that runt, since he appears to be one of Earth's strongest protectors, as that way it'll all make for Goku and Vegeta to fear once they come back and find his torn apart, lifeless body lying on the ground as an omen for what awaits them. <laughs> so, where even with Cooler now quickly being shown having to back up and resulting in Gohan missing his punch, that was when Cooler went on to ask, not bad. What's wrong? Having a little trouble keeping up? Uh, far from it, you freak, Gohan shouts. Oh, how persistent of him, Frieza went on to add. Reminds me of when we fought alongside one another during that stupid little tournament that was held by those childish little gods. But why, Frieza Dende asks? You were given your life by Lord Beerus and we left you alone since then, so why come back and do it all again? Why would you come here knowing what will happen to you after everything we've been through with Frieza responding why well simple revenge that's why and I told those Saiyans that I would be back for them again one day and so I have why would I stop here just because I was given a second chance guardian you should know better but just so we're clear we aren't only going to be going after Goku and Vegeta oh no cooler and I have much bigger plans than just those two to which as soon as we then see how Cooler was now shown catching Gohan's kick, it was just upon Cooler now shown having to elbow Gohan in the shin, where Cooler went on to tell him, what a rookie's mistake. I wonder if your bones are as hard as your stubborn little head. Shall we find out? Aw, damn you, Gohan shouts! To which, within the moment, as soon as Gohan was now shown having to find his opening in blasting Cooler from point-blank range, Dende was now seemingly more so curious by what Frieza said, as Dende went on to ask, so then what is it? What is your ultimate goal that you had to come here for and get your revenge. If it's not just Goku and Vegeta, then what is it? My goal? Well, everything. To control and conquer every planet within every universe as its rightful Omni-God. That's what Frieza responds. It won't just stop with Earth. Oh, no, 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 no. Goku and Vegeta
Vita will be the launching pad that kicks our ambitions into motion once they die. To which as Gohan was now shown clutching onto his leg, it was only behind the smoke where Cooler went on to address Gohan by asking, You know, though I wasn't expecting for you to be this strong, I gotta admit that if I didn't train to push myself into becoming the strongest that I could possibly be, then I'm sure that my life would have ended long before your arrival by the hands of Piccolo, Cooler says. And so I'm very glad to see that I am much more than I could have ever dreamed of being, and to your credit, that one actually hurt a lot more than it should have, in fact. But you don't look to be doing so good. What's wrong? Is your leg about to give up on you? Care to try and see if you can pull that one on me again, Gohan? And I'm rather curious to see if you would be lucky enough to do what you just did to me again. As it was only just within that moment with Gohan now being shown having to erupt and powering up with absolute rage, he only from that point then attempted in blasting Cooler again, but only for Cooler to this time be shown having to move his head out of the way by telling Gohan, no, it's just as I expected, you missed. And so now it's my turn to take you up for a little ride. Come now, monkey, let's continue to rip into this newly discovered form of yours. God, what the heck are you doing? To which the moment Cooler was now shown grabbing onto both of Gohan's legs and now shown taking him up in the air, Cooler's primary intent now was to grab onto Gohan and having to take him all the way up towards the stratosphere, and from that point then having to address Gohan by then telling him, oh, so you want me to let go then, huh? Okay then. So then let's just see how large of an impact your body is going to make onto the earth once I throw you down from the stratosphere. Try not to be what leads to the extinction of every human on earth from the impact of your collision below, Cooler shouts. To where as soon as Cooler was now shown throwing Gohan's body back down below, not only was Gohan's body shown having to slam its way through the lookout in heading its way back down below, but it was even just while this was now shown happening where Frieza went on to chime in, oh dear, such force behind that throw just now. Well, I hope my brother didn't overdo it or we could be seeing the destruction of this entire planet come from one of your own being launched down onto the earth like an asteroid. But what do you think, Guardian? Was it too soon for my brother to destroy the earth? To which fortunately from out of nowhere with Orange Piccolo now shown grabbing onto Gohan and stabilizing his body, that was where Piccolo went on to shout, Whoa there, I got you kid, it's okay. You alright Gohan? You can't just let him tag you around like that. Do you have a plan or something? With Gohan responding, He's really strong Piccolo. He's nothing like I thought he'd be, but he's beatable. I baited him into attacking me and I saw it. Listen, this brother of Frieza seems to be relying more on sheer power than his speed, which means that there's a way to outmaneuver him and catch him when he isn't looking, Gohan says. And so that's where I think I could really hurt him, so can you possibly go and buy me a bit of time to pull this off? It'll be a stretch because he isn't anything like Cell Max was, but I can try to see what I can do, Piccolo responds. In which even then, shockingly enough, as both Piccolo and Gohan were shown having to have this conversation, it was only from out of nowhere from behind them now where Cooler went on to then address both of them by responding, and what could the two of you possibly be whispering about that you've decided to stop for a moment just to have a quick chat? And I was already here waiting long before you caught the boy, but, but how did he? Oh, there's no way. Gohan, now! In which even despite Gohan and Piccolo being shown attacking Cooler at the exact same time, that was when Cooler was quickly shown grabbing onto both of their punches by responding, now, now, what did I say about having you come in between my fight with the Saiyan, Namekian? And I thought I'd made myself very clear about keeping this a one-on-one -on -one fight. Scared of the outcome of what may happen to him, Cooler questions? Is that why you decided to stick your nose in my business with Goku's son? Well, okay then. Now, since you both don't seem to understand what it is that I am saying, then perhaps the best way in order to get through to the two of you is to show you the results of your miscalculated and foolish consequences in a way where you will both be able to easily understand. Right, Frieza? 
huh? Indeed it is, Cooler. Indeed it is, Frieza chimes in. Perhaps this will be made clear for both of them to understand, with Dende responding, Wait, hold on. What is your brother talking? But then, before Dende could even finish his sentence, it was only shockingly enough from out of nowhere behind him, where we from that point then see how a death beam was shown having to go right through his body as Frieza went on to then tell Dende, Hush now and play your part in all of this, little green. This ought to be enough to be a clear wake-up call to all those who refuse to give up the whereabouts of those puny god monkeys. Oh, how I've missed torturing your kind. It's been far too long since I was able to do that to one of you, Frieza continues. And so I wonder which one of your little friends is going to try and save your life before you choke on your own blood and die. You should have given me what I was looking for rather than be so stubborn. Maybe then you would have been given the chance to live a little longer than you did as Piccolo went on to shout, Oh no, Dende! Frieza, you monster! I'm coming, Dende! Don't die on us! But then, Cooler was then shown having to quickly take initiative in slamming both Gohan and Piccolo's body against each other as Cooler went on to comment, You two aren't going to be helping anyone so as long as I'm around to see to it that you don't. And you know what? Now that I think of it, why don't you leave me be with the Namekian so then that way I could finish what he started before you came, Cooler chimes in. Give me a moment. I'll be right back with you to where as soon as Cooler was shown uppercutting Gohan in the stomach before knocking him back down, that was when Cooler was now shown having to redirect his focus in grabbing Piccolo by the throat by continuing. And so now, where did you and I leave off on, Piccolo? To where even then Piccolo was not shown having to go down without putting up a fight because as soon as Piccolo was then shown having to punch Cooler in the face, even despite knowing the fact of Cooler being much more powerful than he was, that was when Piccolo went on to ask, You cold-blooded monster, how could you? You and your rotten brother are going to pay for what you've done. Is that right? Humor me then, Namekian. And who exactly is going to make us pay for our actions? Certainly you don't think that it's going to be you who puts us down, right? Especially not with power like that you won't. Me and my brother have trained long and hard for this very moment, and so you'd be dreaming if you'd honestly think that you will be the difference maker during this entire ordeal. You and all of your friends on this world will simply serve as warm-ups for my brother and I, until your little Saiyan friends finally decide to get here and save you. To where immediately following Cooler being shown having to headbutt Piccolo before cutting off his arm, it was just upon Cooler now being shown torturing Piccolo where Cooler went on to continue, and since we have a bit of time to kill, we might as well start offing you worms one by one so that we can show your little monkey friends that we aren't here to take any prisoners either. I'm afraid that you and your buddies here are running out of time, Namekian, which the question then becomes, what are you going to do? Ah, that's right, I'm supposed to aim for the head if I want to keep you down permanently. I forgot, Cooler says. Right, so long, Piccolo, to where then, it was just before Cooler was shown death beaming Piccolo through the skull, where from beneath him we then see how Beast Gohan was shown having to uppercut Cooler through the lookout by shouting, Oh no, you won't! Of course he would swoop in and save that Namekian from death, Frieza responds. They always tend to be there for one another. Yes, Cooler better not let this slip through his fingers, or then I will be forced to step in and take care of what should have already been dealt with. But now I'm starting to wonder if keeping them alive will serve us well in drawing those monkeys out of hiding. Let's see where this goes, as Gohan went on to then ask Piccolo, you okay, Piccolo? That was a close one, but thankfully he wasn't able to see me coming from below. Thanks, Gohan. It looks like your theory might hold a little bit of weight here, but if you haven't noticed, is it me or does it feel like he's getting stronger as he fights? We've got to watch the way we fight this guy because if he's able to slowly get stronger as he fights, then we're in deep trouble with Gohan responding. Yeah, I figured when I was brawling with him earlier, but I'm going after him, so keep your eye out on Frieza in the meantime, Gohan says. To which, as Gohan was now shown taking his leave, that was when Orange Piccolo had gone as far as to notice something very unusual by saying to himself, Oh, there is something extremely off about this entire situation, but I can't seem to put my finger on what exactly it is that's different. Gohan alone should have been more than enough for that monster to handle, but yet somehow he is fighting back. 
and seemingly with ease, Piccolo continues, almost as though he's used to this or something. And with Frieza appearing very relaxed after seeing Gohan's power too, this only just goes as far as to confirm my suspicions. They must have trained themselves before coming here, and a lot too, Piccolo adds. Oh, we've got to destroy Frieza's brother as soon as we have the chance to because I'm more than sure that this isn't his final form to where and so if it's not, then without Goku and Vegeta here to help us, oh, then we don't stand a chance, Piccolo says. We have to keep pushing him back until something changes in our favor. Oh, and I can only hope that it's not too late when we do, as all the while in the meantime back on Beerus' planet, it would only now appear as though throughout this entire time, as this battle was being waged on Earth, that Vegeta this entire time was still being shown continuing his training with Beerus, as Beerus went on to oversee Vegeta while standing above him by responding, good, keep going, your body is stronger than it's ever been before, and so I want you to do 5 million more before we move on to the next challenge, and so I expect you to do it with no breaks either, but then, it was just upon Vegeta now being shown having to do one finger push-ups, where all of a sudden Vegeta had gone as far as to send something, that had even now gone as far as to influence his concentration, as Vegeta had then went on to say to himself, whoa, what's that massive energy that I'm sensing, I can feel several large powers levels and they're all coming from Earth, but why? What's going on? Vegeta asks. Oh, but of course, I knew it. I can sense Frieza's power on Earth and he appears to be with someone else as well. Oh, someone just as strong, maybe stronger, Vegeta continues, but why? Oh, something's wrong. There is a fight taking place at this exact moment. I've got to find out what's happening out there because if what I sense is accurate, oh, then there's no way that Gohan or anyone else will last much longer out there. Are you listening to what it is that I am telling you, Vegeta, or what? Beerus went on to lean in. Your concentration's been broken again by something, so now what happened? Am I boring you here, Vegeta? Are you not interested in further developing your power here, or what? Cough it up, with Vegeta responding, uh, uh no, Lord Beerus. There was something in my eye just now, but it's gone, so I'll focus. My apologies. I've got to hurry it up and finish what I have going on here so that I may return to Earth as quickly as I could. Oh, I knew I sensed Frieza's energy before, Vegeta continues, and I just knew that in my gut he was up to something and I was right. Oh, and to have Gohan be pushed into using that beast form should say enough about what's happening. I've got to hurry it up because they won't be able to hold out much longer with without me, as it was only right then and there during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the top 5 strongest warriors in the multiverse manga chapter number 34 special then comes to a close. Now the situation on Earth doesn't seem to be favoring our heroes at all, as even Vegeta himself now is beginning to sense this all the way from Beerus' planet, and so even Vegeta himself now while he is training is beginning to acknowledge the threat level that both Frieza and this mysterious person that he had brought to Earth now pose in which as it now looks as though it's up to Vegeta to do something about what is going on on Earth since Goku is currently busy, I cannot wait to show you guys how all of these events are about to transpire, especially with what's coming in the upcoming episode, which is that of manga chapter number 35, which will of course be made available to all of my Patreons on Patreon first, so if you do want to go on ahead and support the channel as well as also gain tons of exclusives, then I do encourage you all to become a member of my Patreon today, patreon.com slash Gaming. the links to that will be located down in the description box below and pin comment section below as well as a huge thank you goes out to all of the current existing patreon members that are on patreon right now who have also got a glimpse of goku's upcoming form where if you've paid close enough attention to everything that's happened thus far within the story then you kind of already know what is to be expected especially when transitioning from chapter 35 into chapter 36 because only then will Whis's training finally pay off for goku in what i would consider to be a very glorious and spectacular moment especially for Goku. So again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your support and for your patience. Where as always, if you also just so happen to be new to this channel and of course love Dragon Ball, then I do encourage you all to head on over and smash that subscribe button. On top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up right now by smashing that like button down below. Tune back in for more. And with all that being said, I will be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, everybody, and have a great day. Peace.
Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>